reconnaissance patrol skis across the high fells of Norway, 5,000 feet above sea level. They're training in Arctic and mountain warfare. But in country like this, there's one lesson that's more important than all the rest. Simply, how to survive. They're told that no one should travel alone. The smallest group should consist of three men. Now this quartet is looking for somewhere their colleagues in the 1st Battalion, the Parachute Regiment, can practice the skills of survival. Uh, get some nice snow holes in there, won't we? In amongst the edges. In the there. edges there, in that corner. I think what we need to do now is to, is to get down across here, yep. see if we can find a, a route out for the company. Okay. okay, you ready? All right, sir. Yep. These men are part of the UK okay. contingent of NATO's Allied Mobile Force. Skiing downhill, they look particularly mobile, but they also have to be ready to stay put in one spot for long periods. While A Company are sorting themselves out, others are fulfilling dreams of skiing the powder snow of the upper slopes. Everyone has to learn to ski, and they learn fast. It's not how long it takes, it's how long they've got. You've got a week before they put Bergens on your back, and then for two days you go for hikes um, with Bergens on your back, increasing the weight. And then on the third day, they just bung everything in and you just go out for two days. The men find it pays more than ever out here not to fall over. When you go down, your bergen comes right over your head. You know, and if you go head first, you're in for it. <laughs> your head goes straight in the snow with the bergen on top. By now, A Company are ready to move. You wouldn't find these skis in the ritzy alpine resorts of Europe. No flashy fiberglass here. These are multi-purpose skis, affectionately okay, known as NATO planks. Plants. ...are in Norway to learn how to fight in temperatures which can drop as low as 30 below. And to do that, they have first to learn how to survive. We thought Richard was the ideal candidate to dig out his action man kit and join them. This pack weighs about a hundred weight. It's got enormous amounts of things in here. Gosh, it really is heavy. How people manage to walk far in one of these, I goodness only knows. Tell me first, do you have to put this on by yourself normally? Usually. You usually put it on by yourself, do you? Well, I'm pleased for your help. Now, 100 weight. A radio on the top as well. Spare batteries up there. Can take it up to about 110 or 120 pounds. They have to walk and climb and ski wearing this for many miles. Good luck to them. Hey, you've got your rifle. <laughs> yeah, so I don't need anything else. All right, thanks very much. Wish me luck. Listen, tell the enemies to wait a while, will you? I'm not ready for them. <laughs> the arm is calling it, believe it or not, Operation Hardfall. It's a sort of golden egg award there, isn't it? 